Ah. Right, I've started it off again in resonating mode. Hopefully you can hear that. And fuck's sake. Fucking kids on quad bikes. Uh yeah. Self resonating, as you cannot hear now. Uh, single transistor again, same setup as the first video. This time I have this coil, the bottom one, setting all the way around here to power, uh, sorry, series, all sort of three coils are linked in. One going to the battery. I've got two driving the Bedini circuit, which is these two set up in parallel, and obviously a third charge battery, which is showing. 1286, well 1287, roughly that. Uh, right, now I'm going to show you a little something because, like I said, I've got the two white uh, batches wide in for a reason. If I can set that up nicely. Uh, where's my ignition key? Where the hell is my ignition? Ah, there it is. This little thing, metal, 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 is my ignition key because, stop that. It's set quite far away inside here, so you do need uh, this to make it start it, but it's also to protect the transistor because the trigger wire just goes ballistic. So you just pull it out just a little bit at a time, and away it goes, running. But this isn't the half of it. It generally settles down to a certain speed, but when I insert the trigger, uh, sorry, the ignition key, yeah, my ignition key again. It seems to act like a gear mechanism and the high speed is engaged. And this is under load, so it's running at a uh, charge of the battery, which the camera's sitting on right now. Now that's generally the speed right back to the uh, light is showing. But watch this if I don't break it. And listen. Triggering again. And I'm not moving the camera, it's actually resonating on the table. As you can see, stupid glint cut. It's running a whole lot faster. But again, this is uh, under load, so now, for a short video, I'm going to actually remove the charging battery and it's going to continue to accelerate. But I'm not going to let it reach the max because I'm afraid it's too damn powerful. <laughs> Scaring me. Right, that's it. I completely disconnected the battery on this side now. Broken the circuit and this thing's just running down. Yeah, so three quarters set up so far and I want to have for this was a gap that I was talking about. So you see, I got my hole. Oh, ouch. Yeah. That did get hot. Ah, uh, yeah, the six rotor, uh, six magnet rotor. See, compared to my hand or finger size, are quite big. See, that's the uh, flywheel. Right now, this is definitely going to take an hour to upload, confirmed. Yep. This is my Bellini. And. Yum. Come on, autofocus, you know you love me. Right. I just saw the little bits and pieces and wires. Yeah, the coil is by filer wound. But right on the inside, I don't uh, string them together. I did the inner core first, which is the fine, uh, fine gauge wire. And then I wrap on the outside of that my uh, pulse coil because wiring them together when you're separated like I have to on a regular basis it's a pain in the arse yep two drive batteries one charge battery <laughs> 